everyone, Philippa here. It is in New Zealand here now, it is December the 29th, 2016. And so we all know that we are about to roll over into a brand new year. And for some of you, your thoughts have, have lingered on Christmas and you've been just quietly enjoying Christmas season, which you should be. And that should continue. We don't take our Christmas decorations or our tree or anything down until the Feast of the Epiphany in January. So feel free to keep feasting and celebrating Christmas. Um, but obviously some of you, your thoughts have already turned to the coming year. And, and I have seen on Facebook that some people are already pulling their Christmas trees down and putting away all their decorations. Wow, it seems really early to do that, but that's okay. Everyone has their own modus operandi anyway so i was just thinking we're about to shift we're about to make that move which will seem very abrupt from 2016 to 2017 because we really only have a couple of days left of this year and so many of us have turned our thoughts already to the new year uh and people's feelings about this will vary. I would like to suggest that everyone should look at 2017 as a blank slate. It's a clean sheet of paper. Like Anne of Green Gables says, tomorrow is fresh with no mistakes in it. And the same goes for next year in just a few days time. But really what I want you to do before you really sit down and think hard about you, what you want next year to be for you, it's really important, I think, to do a little review of 2016. So I want you to take a piece of paper. Have I got lipstick on my teeth again? This is going to become my thing. I'm going to be known. As the chick with lipstick on her teeth all the time. Every time. Just about. I think it's gone. Oh, I hope so. Anyway, uh, I want you to take, take a sheet of paper, take a pen, maybe do this in your journal, or if you don't have a journal, I, I couldn't find my journal at the exact moment that I wanted to do it, so I just sat down with my diary or my agenda, um, as my husband would call it, and found a page that wasn't already full. And I want you to head it up with... 2016 achievements, right? And I want you to put your thinking cap on. I want you to try and think back over the whole year. Now, some of that's going to be hard. Obviously, what immediately comes to mind is, is things that have happened in the last couple of months. Fine, start with those, but I want you to try and think back through the course of the entire year. And I want you to write down every good thing be it huge or just tiny, every good thing that you've achieved or accomplished this year or every every useful mindset shift, yes, mindset, no, <laughs> mindset shift that you've made or every light bulb moment that you can think of that you've had this year that's really stuck with you and has made a difference for you on some level, doesn't matter if they're tiny, I want you to write them all down. I'm hoping that list is gonna be really long. For some of you, this is going to be a difficult task. I know very well that there are vast numbers of people who are used to beating themselves up all the time and for whom this time of the year is distressing because you might feel like you didn't achieve anything. Okay, but that is the reason that this exercise is so important. And look, there is someone close to me in my life who is like this. And every New Year's and every birthday, this particular person gets to feeling a bit low and depressed. Because he thinks that he hasn't achieved enough. And he thinks that, oh no, another year has passed. I'm, I'm a year closer to the grave and I haven't accomplished what I wanted. No, 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 no. Do not do this. That's why this 
year in review exercise is so important because you need to think hard and think back and remind yourself of the things that you have done this year, right? And if you're one of those people who finds this really difficult and can't think of anything, okay, number one, think harder. (laughs) Number two, find someone in your life, a friend or family member, who is one of your cheerleaders, right? Hopefully your spouse or partner, but maybe not. Maybe it's a sibling. Maybe it's a good friend. I don't know. Find that person and ask them to help you, right? And when you can't think of anything, they will be able to think of something. If they know you really well, it has to be somebody who knows you really well. And they might be able to prompt you a little bit. Okay, so um, an approach that, no, no, there is still lipstick. Oh my goodness. That is a Cindy Crawford lipstick trick. I don't know if that worked. Can't see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just my thing. I always wind up with lipstick on my teeth. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, okay. So you can take a few approaches. So you can break it down into... Tr- I mean, you could you could go consecutively back through the year and think, what did I achieve in December, November, October, September? You know, and go back that way. Or you could think in terms of kind of the, the sectors of your life, if you like, and you could think, what did I achieve personally? What did I achieve mentally-wise? You know, personal growth-wise. What did I achieve in my career or my business? What did I achieve in my relationships? What did I achieve in my spiritual life? That sort of thing. If that's going to be a good memory job for you, then use it. Just use it. But I just want you to sit down before New Year's, please. Before January 1st. Although I suppose it doesn't really matter if you wind up doing it late. If you don't see this until we're well into January or even February or whenever, okay, fine. Just just tr- do it as soon as you can. Do the review piece of paper or your journal, some nice pens, put some nice little bullet points in there, whatever little symbol makes you happy, hearts, stars, whatever, asterisks, and jot those things down. And then you have permission to read through your list again and give yourself a mental pat on the back. Okay, because you you will have achieved things this year. You will have. And I think it's really important to look at those And see how far you've come before you turn to thinking of the next year. Otherwise, it's too easy to see that blank agenda or diary staring back at you for the coming year and think, I achieved nothing in the last year. How on earth can I achieve anything this year? We don't want that. Celebrate. Look back. Celebrate your successes. Don't get bogged down in anything negative. If you catch yourself thinking, oh, I didn't do such and such or I didn't do that or I plan to do that and I didn't do that, stop. And go back, go back up the list to something that you've already found that was positive and good and that you achieved. Okay? Maybe you had a baby. Maybe you bonded with a new pet. I don't know. Maybe you scored yourself a raise in your job. Maybe you started a new business. I don't know. Just write them all down. It's a great exercise. Feel free to comment below uh, maybe some of your biggest successes or achievements of the year. I'd love to hear them. I really would. And I will follow this video up soon with a couple of tips for looking ahead to the coming year. All right. So enjoy the exercise. It's there as a positive tool for you. Enjoy it. Do it. Comment below with some of the things that you've achieved because I really do love to hear them. And I will catch you again soon. Okay. Ciao for now.